Good evening YouTube, how are we all? Hope you're all well. Um, just a wee, just a wee isolation lockdown video, whatever you like to call it. Um, just the one thing that I can be grateful for, excuse me for a wee second, is we all this extra time that I've not normally had. I've managed to make things that I don't normally do very often and to be fair, it's, sorry excuse me for a wee sec, it's probably quite dark, um, it's quite nice because you get back to kind of basics as it were. Um, I found myself making food quite a lot, I don't mean that I'm eating it all the time and I'm turning it into a fat slob, what I mean is that I'm actually getting back to making things like home dinners that I, I, I enjoy making. Um, today I used, a wee second of three, I don't know if any of you them guys, this is a wee, like a champion folding toasty maker grill thing I got as a birthday present from my partner Alana, um, which I absolutely love. Now with that, what I was able to do today was make myself some lovely lunch. Now the lunch I had was a toasted panini, right, which is obviously what the name. Um, I put them in a sealable bag to make them last a bit longer. Uh, with that I had a Cajun chicken breast fillet, which was absolutely stunning. I also had some sliced peppers and some cheese, some grated cheese that I just sprinkled over the top. Toasted, the way it worked is, obviously put it on the, the, the hob, toasted the bun, um, cut it in half obviously, kind of opened it up, toasted to both sides, sat that to the side with some tinfoil over it just to keep it warm, put a wee bit of butter over it, depending on what you like, um, I, I put some uh, salted butter, which was really nice. Whilst that was sitting there, um, put the chicken in, but what I actually did guys is with the chicken, the chicken breast I'd actually cut into, like kind of dice, not cut all the way through so that it was cut in sections, but I'd, I'd sliced in using the wee opener, um, like kind of cut lengthwise, cut the strides, just maybe halfway, three quarters of the way through the chicken, and then cut across the way so that it's, um, it's like a kind of cubed effect. Uh, with the Cajun sauce, sprinkled a wee bit of uh, sweet chilli sauce. Uh, I, I don't know how people like the food, however, it was it was really nice. Um, put that in the grill for about maybe 10 minutes. Um, turned it over side by side, um, just kept turning it over. That's the, the one good thing about those wee grills is you can literally flip them. Um, cooks it in no time at all, absolutely no time at all. So whilst that was in, I then added the sliced peppers. Again, just kind of squish them a bit, let them reduce down. Um, just before I brought it out, just before I actually kind of lifted it out, the, the, the grill, I put some grated cheese over the top of it. But what I actually did is I used a set of tongs and again the wee opener knife to cut the chicken into strips so that it was kind of lengthwise so that it would fit in, basically so it would fit in the, the bun. Um, got to apologise guys, if you can hear the, the boy up the stairs, he's having a bit of a party because it's Easter weekend. Uh, uh, so I did that, and then obviously kind of let that reduce down again, just flipped it now and again, just to reduce down, I thought it meant lovely. Um, took the tin foil off the top of the wee plate where the, the panini roll thing was, put the chicken in, which it had obviously the grated cheese over the top, so the grated cheese had melted all over it, it was absolutely stunning. Picked it out with the tongs, laid it on, sprinkled some of the petals over it, and then put a wee sprinkling of salt. And honestly guys, if any's have got one of those grills, they are the best thing ever, because they don't they don't allow you to burn the, the, the chicken or whatever you're actually cooking. I, I mean, I've, I've cooked steak in that, I've cooked fish, I've, I've done all sorts of stuff. Um, I'm actually going to look online at YouTube to see, I think it's TF, no, um, Ridge Monkey have something similar, but they do a lot of kind of recipes and I don't know if it's Ridge Monkey ambassadors that do it, but 
it was oh, it was thoroughly thoroughly enjoyable. So because it was obviously the Easter weekend, had that for lunch, popped about the house a wee bit, and then did some just some admin, some exercise, um, just keep myself busy with this lockdown, and then after this, obviously, can I, when I woke up this morning, I started preparing my dinner or my meal for tonight. Now, for any for any people that live on their own. This thing is the absolute business when it comes to cooking for people like myself that aren't very culinary. No, start again. Culinary. Culinary? Culinary. Experienced. Right, I, I'm not a great cook. I'm not. Um, one, one, one of my old pals for army used to joke that I was the only guy you knew that would burn water. Um, so the one thing that I got quite a while ago that, as I said earlier, I've started using quite a fair bit now. Is a slow cooker. Now, slow cookers, guys, are absolutely idiot proof, right? There's no, there's no other way of putting it that idiot proof. You prepare everything, put it all in, and just leave it. That's it. It's it's the old acronym: kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, so what I did today was obviously got all the vegetables, the casserole vegetables, which was diced, sweet or turnip, depending on where you come from, carrots, onions, a um, couple of leeks and some broccoli. Also got some diced potato in there as well. Along with that, put some beef stock cubes in, um, just let that kind of soak up for a wee bit and then added probably about a pound, pound and a half of diced beef. The one thing I forgot is when I go to Bothy's or if I'm going to be camping with, like, with friends and family and I'll, I'll always try and make a point of having a main meal for when we get there. Um, normally when we go to a Bothy, like the guys I'm going with, like Tam and Lachlan and stuff, each is will prepare a main meal along with other sundries like maybe take stuff for breakfast and what have you. So the way it works is, if we're going for three nights, I would take a main meal, Tam would take a main meal, Lachlan would take a main meal, and we would take it in turns obviously making dinner for the three years, um, or however many are there. So what that actually made, that, that kind of got me thinking, going, well, do you know what? I'm actually, I'm going to start getting back into the practice of that. So excuse me for a wee second, guys, because it is, it is good Friday. I'm watching YouTube um, because the guy upstairs is obviously having a bit of party. So, on that note, just a bit of kind of brief one. Cheers. Hope you're all well. Um, for any of these, oh, no, 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 I'll start again. That's only my third beer too. For any of you that's wondering, it's a wee cozy, a cozy thing. One of my friends from Canada, um, from Dolphin in Manitoba gave me as a gift right, and a, a couple of wee daft things. So, as I was saying, when me and my pals used to go to Bothy's or go away camping, we'd make a point of each is taking like, a main meal for each person and then a couple of wee bits and bobs. And they would, they would kind of add up, like, for example, when you went to a Bothy, don't know if any of you have ever been in a Bothy, um, if you have any, I highly recommend it, but just be prepared for a restless night sometimes because if you get there and the place is full of complete and utter nuggets, then it can be a case of the dirty party and you might be sitting in a, a secondary room listening to them. So take earplugs. Um, many waffling guys, sorry. So, as I said, we used to make it a point of where I would take a main meal, they would take a main meal, and we would have like, wee bits and bobs for breakfast and lunch, whether it be macro fillets with wraps or stuff for, for breakfast like bacon, eggs, sausages, um, we used to make a point of always kind of doing that so each has had so much that would cover however however long we were going to be there. Now getting back, going off a wee tangent there guys, I do apologise, with regards to the slow cooker, as I said it is idiot proof and to prove a point guys, I put this on at about 10 o'clock this morning. 10 o'clock this morning. Now, how good does this look? Oh, steamy camera. 
How lovely does that look? So what I'm actually going to do, very, 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 very straightforward. As I said, guys, um, also, I have probably noticed, I'm going to do a review on this another time. Got that the other day. Um, I'm going to decant some of it into a Tupperware dish. Let it cool down and obviously put it in the fridge. That can do my tea for tomorrow. But to go along with it, having cooled down, cut the wee Yorkshire puddings. So, hopefully, I've got these all salivating dramatically now. Um, if if you don't have a slow cooker, guys, it's the one thing I, I highly recommend. I mean, I've, I've said to all my friends and family. Most of my friends and family have got a slow cooker and they're, they're, they're idiot-proof. Yeah, they really are idiot-proof. It is a simple case of if you want to have, say, a chicken casserole, get all, the, get all the ingredients, get them all prepared and just launch the whole thing in and just leave it. Like, for example, if you go to bed one night, put the, the slow cooker on a low heat, or maybe a, a kind of warm heat, put everything in, stir it all around, add all the ingredients and just leave it. You can go to bed or you can go to work, come back in and within the space of maybe six, seven hours, depending on the heat temperature or the, the heat setting, sorry, you'll find that you've got a nice, big, chunky, hearty meal that is going to fill you up. And it's, it's going to sound a bit daft here, guys, but... I cannot, cannot, cannot recommend them highly enough. You can get all sorts of recipe books, you can get all sorts of... Hang on a wee second, just while I reminded myself there. I'm going to be working my way through this. Tells you how to prepare. Um, quick and easy, proven recipes. It was a gift of a friend. Um, he'd went in a, a bookshop somewhere and found it. Knew that I had a slow cooker and thought that would do me, so do you know what? Thanks for that. Um, but if you don't have a slow cooker, guys, the one bit of advice I will give you is get one because your your food, can I, your, your variations of food are going to go astronomical. There is so many things online on Facebook and on Twitter and all sorts of stuff where you can get recipes that... You wouldn't think you're putting these things together, but in a slow cooker, they work well. So, as I said, bit of a quick video. Didn't mean to kind of rant and rave and go off on a wee bit of a tangent, so I do apologise for that one. But I'm now going to go get my Yorkshire puddings out, get my, get my plate served up and sit and enjoy a nice, lovely, hearty, homemade beef stew in the house. We are beer whilst I'm watching YouTube. So take care, guys, okay? See you in a bit.